So before we start the design of elements, we need to review mechanics. And here, at least uh, uh, basically six topics in this review. All right, each is made into a, a short movie. The first one is for sign convention, and second one is for uh, bending cases. Okay, uh, we include pure bending and transverse bending, and then uh, torsional shear stresses, and then combined bending and torsion, and then three-dimensional loading, and then principal stresses, more circle, and uh, a maximum shear stress. So let's go to the first topic, which is for sign convention, and uh, talk about the normal stresses due to a unit axle loading, and then diagrams of uh, uh, torque, uh, shear force, and bending moments. Okay, so the first one is for bending moments. Let's see this. I, we have a shaft, and on this shaft, this shaft in mechanical materials is usually called a beam. But anyway, it's in this, uh, uh, on this beam or shaft, we have a pair of bending moments. Remember, they are bending in the plane. All right. For this case, they bend downward. They bend this shaft downward. We call this pair of bending moments positive. Okay. Uh, remember, this is a little bit different from uh, equilibrium of moments. We name one positive, the other one has to be negative. No, for this case, they are both defined positive. Okay, next is the uh, shear force. Okay, it's for shear force. All right, for shear force, if one goes on this side upward, on the other side downward, we call this pair positive shear force. There is a differential relationship between the two, which we're going to talk later. Okay, for torque, remember torque, it, torques are different from bending moments. Bending moments are bending in plane, but torques are out of the plane. All right, so you can either use uh, one arrow to show the direction or use double arrow to show the normal that is perpendicular to the torque application plane. All right. If the normal is outward, we name this torque positive. So likewise for the, for the other side, normal is outward, so the torque is positive. So for this case, both torques are positive. Okay. Now let's move to uh, unit axle loading case. And again, we have this. Not this shaft is put in this way. Okay, vertical way. Never mind, we have a pair of force applying and these forces are tensile. Okay. For tension, we name positive. All right, here one thing I want to mention to you is that uh, uh, for all these uh, shafts, we have uh, a diameter, they are, they are cylindrical elements, we have a diameter, and okay, we can use either use D or use phi for the diameter. Okay. Um, usually, for the D is used for analysis, but phi is usually we put into the uh, engineering drawing. All right, for this unit axle loading case, we can simply analyze the stress really quickly, okay? And because every point, okay, as long as far, farther away from this loading application, and we see we pick up a, a cubic out. The, we have uh, only normal stress along the y direction, and the stress can be calculated very easily because this is normal stress. All right, in the y direction, we can call that sigma y, that equals force divided by a area. And uh, what is the area? Pi d divided by four. That's it. Okay, let's move on to one example about uh, the diagrams, torque diagrams, shear force, and bending moment diagrams. All right, here I have a shaft. This shaft is the thing we're going to talk in the class later. All right, you see this shaft. On this shaft, we get a bunch of forces applied. And you can see that easily. This, uh, we have a pair of torques, right? And then we have a load application over here. This load F equals 1,000 Newton is applied. And these two R's, R1 and R2, are reactions to this force. All right, so basically we have force, we have, uh, we have torque applied. So we can do the torque diamond first. You see here, torque is only applied in this segment. 
okay? So that's why, and uh, we, uh, go by the sign convention, both are negative. So we can do this uh, uh, torque diagram easily because in, in between, in any segment, we should see the same torque, okay? Um, now, next one is for shear force. And we have here, we have two segments for shear forces. One's here, the other one's here. Obviously, this is based on our sign convention, positive. But this segment give us negative shear, shear force, all right? So in between of these, constant. In between of these, another constant. So we can have the shear force diagram very easily. And this side, shear force equals R2, and this side, it equals negative of R2, uh, R1. All right, how to do the moment diagram, which is very easy, okay? And because you see the force applied over here, like this, downward, and two reactions going upward, which means we're gonna bend this shaft downward. So the bending moment has to be negative. So if we do that, we can, do, we can plot the, the, the bending moment diagram very easily. Okay, how did I do that? At this side, this side because because the, we do not have any force for in this segment, even we have a moment, a, a torque. Uh, yeah, however, the force start from R2. Therefore, right at R2 application, okay, the moment has to be zero, all right? Changing from here on to the middle, uh, it has to be a linear change, all right? And then right, in, right at here, Okay, at this load, uh, uh, this force application location, this F equals 1,000 Newton application location, and the bending moment reaches the maximum. How, how large? So that is R2 by the distance, which is 0 0.036, and then we find out this uh, uh, maximum bending moment. This side, simply again, we know that the bending moment here has to be zero, at the end, at the R1 application has to be zero, and in between has to be linear uh, connect, linear change. So we just draw a line to connect these two points. That's it. But of course, you can write down moment uh, equations. Okay, F from in this segment, you can write down one, one equation. So moment along the x direction equals R2. Okay, by distance, what is the distance? We measure x from here. So basically any x, okay, at, uh, uh, here before this uh, force application in this segment, all right, so that is the x minus L2, L, L3 distance, all right, so that's it. Now this segment is a little bit different. We have to write down another equation. So in this, sec in this part of the shaft, moment comes in two parts, uh, two, two portions. The first one is from this R, Two, which is the same as this one. Okay, we keep writing that same thing. All right, but because remember this is for the other side. All right, so F comes into our picture. So F also by the distance. Okay, how much is the, the, the F application distance? So that is X up to this location. Okay, minus L3 and also minus L2. All right. So then we can write down the second equation. This is a little bit more complicated. Why don't we do a, a simple way? That is, we assume a x prime direction that is opposite to the x direction. We can write down equation from this side. So simply, that is R1 by x prime. But remember, this goes the other way around. Okay, so no matter what, we get these uh, three diagrams very easily, very conveniently. And you see here, there's a differential relationship between shear force and the bending moment. Okay, shear force basically is the slope of bending moment. And this slope is positive, so we have shear force positive. And this slope is a negative, we have the shear force over here, negative. Okay, I think this is the end of the first movie. <laughs>